In this video, I'm going to give you a quick demo of PyVMC and uh, we're going to do a practical example of uh, setting up access to a Windows server within my SDDC uh, and we'll set up RDP access from my home over a public IP. So first we need a public IP, so we're going to request it with PyVMC and this is the following command. We'll give it name. Takes a few seconds to to be populated. Here we go. Fifty two dot twelve dot one three seven dot one nine three. Then we will uh, set up NAT access. So Nico NAT row. That. So first the public IP and then the private IP which is in my case it's all done and I can check with um, show that. Rule has now been implemented. Now we're going to set up a file rule to allow access from my home public IP address to um, this the, the 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 VM that I'm trying to access. So we're going to create a group. Which is a compute gateway group. We're going to call it my home public IP. And it's IP based. There are many ways to create groups in VMware Cloud. We could create based on the, num the name of the VM, um, manually uh, assign a number of virtual machine, or we can use uh, IP addresses, um, which I'm doing here in this case. So done. And now we'll create the group for my actual Windows server running in VMC. Okay. Next, we're going to set up access to um, uh, using the compute gateway. So we're going to create a security role. Echo home to BMC VM. So my home public IP address to my Windows VM. RDP and now over the public interface. And confirm that the rule has been created. And now let's verify if it's working. First, let's remind ourselves what was the SDC public IP. We're going to now try to connect to it. You can see the connection is going through. and my remote desktop is coming up. Now let's verify what we've set up on VMware Cloud. We first requested a public IP. We then set up an add rule. We 
created some groups with my home public IP and my Windows VM and we created a security role to allow traffic from my home public IP to my Windows VM over RDB and it's all up and running like this okay thank you so let's go.